I've always been a reclusive person. At school, while the other kids were out playing sports, I was usually hunting for mushrooms in the forest beside my house. I grew up in the Peak District, so there was endless space to walk and be alone with my thoughts. I just always found people made me feel tense, and because of this, I wasn't very good at communicating with them. This had a serious impact on my life growing up. I would shy away from any kind of group activity, and I even pretended to be ill to escape from family gatherings. Eventually, I gave up trying to integrate and just accepted that I was better off alone. My first job was working at the night shift at a dog kennel. This was perfect for me. All I had to do was keep watch over the animals and feed them in the morning. Sadly, after working there for two years, the kennel was shut down. So I signed up for benefits and moved in back in with my parents. At first, I thought this would be a nightmare, living at home when I was 25 years old. But it turned out to be a good thing. There was, they were so supportive and they would always sit down with me and talk through any problem I was having. My dad worked tirelessly to find me a new job and in February he landed me a position at the local library. This was basically my dream job and I was overjoyed. The building was right next to the garage where my dad worked, so I carpooled with him each morning. It wasn't as noisy as the kennel and everyone who worked there was very friendly. One day this really sweet girl called Charlotte approached me and asked me if I was interested in learning service skills. This surprised me a lot because no one ever asked me to do anything like that. Normally I wouldn't dream of it, but I was feeling a lot more confident and I got the feeling she was a bit like me. So I agreed and the next day we went together. Even though I was bad at it, she was patient and encouraged the whole time. I even stayed afterwards to have brownies with the group and then walked Charlotte home. I thought for the very first time in my life I might have friends of my own and I felt so happy.